Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Quick. This has been a labor of love for the for the past few decades, and I, and I really appreciate your support uh, just to come out to celebrate everyone who's watching at, at home around the world. Any of you know my story about my brain injury and my learning difficulties? If you were to go to that kid who was having migraines 24/7, you know, at the age of five, six, seven, uh, was uh, you know being teased all the time and just couldn't read and all these challenges. Like my, it's it's weird because somebody asked me recently uh, on an interview on a podcast for promoting this book, who would you like to um, make proud in your life? You know, which one or two people? And you know, most people think about their parents, and certainly that that's they are amazing individuals. They're not the most spiritual, or they've never had a green juice. They don't do yoga, but um, but they're just really good people. And I always felt like I always wanted to do good by them. You know, when they immigrated to the United States, my dad was 13 and lost both of his parents. And we live in the back of a laundromat that my mom worked at. And I had these learning difficulties put in special education. So that's why I'm so passionate. But the person who raised me, as Richard mentioned, was my grandmother, who um, you know, uh, started, started showing early signs of dementia when I was five and eventually passed when I was seven. And it's interesting how many people believe that sometimes uh, your struggles or things that you go through kind of put you on a path that you're not really sure at the moment. And, um, and that was definitely for me. And you really don't understand life unless, unless you look back and see how the pieces, everything happened for a reason. I don't know if you, you believe that, but it, I think you're here for a reason. And I don't take that lightly. And so, I, and I really don't like the spotlight and this being about me. This is about collectively, you know, the world is going through a lot of challenges and, you know, feels very limited. And so when we chose the title of this book, it's about redrawing the borders and boundaries of possibility for ourselves, for our families, for our communities, for, for this world, and giving people kind of some hope, like superheroes do, right? I, I talk about superheroes because I taught myself how to read by reading comic books and something about the, the images brought it to life. But superheroes, they offer hope and they offer help. And so anybody who's struggling right now watching this, you know, I, I know that you inspire people with your grit and your grace. And I think more than ever, the world really needs examples of possibility now, now more than ever. And superheroes just don't have superpowers. They use those powers for, for purpose, right? You share your gifts uh, in, a, in a way that, that lights other people up. And learning for me is my passion and teaching people how to learn is my purpose. You know, I, I think passion is what lights you up and you could have a lot of passion and purpose is how you use your passion to light other people up. And so I, I took my mess and I turned it into my message, but I, I really appreciate, you know, every time I'm working with a client, I always see this genius inside of them, this potential that, you know, I wish somebody saw in me when I was younger. And I think that's what superheroes do. So I want to thank you all together because I think how do you become limitless in a limited world? We, we do it together. The reason I wrote this updated version is because the world has changed a lot the past few years. When this book originally came out, the original version of Limitless was in April 2020. And that was an interesting time, right? And we, every, like everybody else, we pivoted and such. But we never got to come together and celebrate the book because everybody was was isolated, right? So this is the first uh, book party we've ever had. So I want to thank you for participating and being here and everyone who's online. Can we give a hand to our CEO, Alexis Bank? 
So Alexis and I met uh, about 18 years ago when she came through our courses. We have a full-time learning center in Westchester, New York, and she thought we could do better. And I was looking at different options, you know, I, I, I'm a, I kind of don't think really, really big, but she definitely is. So she really is the brains behind this whole brand. So can we give it up if, if our brands helped you in any way? So thank you. Really appreciate everyone for showing up tonight. Um, it means so much to us. So thank you. How many of you realize that the, that iceberg effect? You only kind of see the tip of the iceberg, but you know, people don't see what goes below the surface. How many of you are a personal example for that? People don't see the sacrifice, the study, the amount of work. They kind of just see what's on your achievements, but rarely do they see what went in to actually create that. And, you know, I remember 17 years ago, it was a lot different back then, kind of in the beginning of the internet and courses. Yeah, it's been a long journey. I was actually one of those students taking Jim's class when he was doing small corporate training. And what I learned that day, it really blew my mind. And I really thought, why weren't we taught this in school? It would have made a huge difference. And what I realized um, was that I actually really like learning, but I just didn't like school. <laughs> so I think a lot of kids go through that. And I think also as adults too, um, I really do believe more people would love learning if they really knew that it could be so much more fun and effective and you get to see the results right away. Now we have a similar shared experience in terms of mission. Alexis came to this country at, at what age? 11. And how was that in terms of, did you speak the language? No, and it took me a long time to learn how to speak English. And I, part of the reason why I hate public speaking or speaking of any kind, um, it took me a lot longer than other kids. Normally, kids move here when they're 9, 10, 11 years old. Usually it takes about a year or two years. It took me five, six years to have basic conversation. And people would always say, oh, like, why aren't you learning this? Everybody can speak English after two years. How come you're still struggling? And it's because I was really, uh, yeah, I was super shy, introverted. I didn't want to make mistake, and I think part of that slowed my learning down significantly. Um, and now, as much as I still hate speaking, I'm trying to force myself to go out there more, do more things that I don't like, and so that I can get better. Because otherwise, how else are we going to get better? Uh, Alexis is another testament in terms of See, Limitless is not about being perfect. Limitless is about redrawing the borders and boundaries of what's possible in your lives, especially when you could tap into this incredible superpower that we all have. And uh, so what, what's your what's your vision? Like, if, if people have heard about our brand, it's because, it's because of her and the amazing team that we, we have. What, what's, your, what's your vision for the future of, of what we're doing? We want everyone to fall in love with their brains and realize that it's so magnificent. And once you know how to use your brain after learning how it works, it's really, really amazing. You can create anything you want yeah. and you can train your brain to do anything you want. And I think that's the, the biggest mission. And I try to envision what would the world look like if people really appreciate their brains more and learn more things so we can collaborate more and we can have intelligent conversation together and what kind of ideas will come out of that when people are just dedicating dedicated to being open I, and learning i think the world is ready for a, a new renaissance how, how many people feel that? that that the future belongs to the creators <laughs> and mostly i want to thank you for taking some time your evening to celebrate this new book Richard mentioned that 100% of the proceeds, our author proceeds, go to charity to build schools. We build schools in Ghana, Guatemala, Kenya, and also Alzheimer's research. So know that when you purchase the books or gift the book to your team or family member, you get a better brain, you get to learn better, but so do other people outside of you because you learn to earn to return. Thank you very much for everybody.